Hey, what's going on, guys? Dope Slaughter 930 here, and I am making this video because today I just got my Nandex to Cool Runner cable from X Consoles. I um, tried ordering it with my first order that came in yesterday, but they didn't have it, so I had to order it the day after. And I decided since I got that, I might as well make you guys um, a brief tutorial on how to uh, program the Cool Runner chip using the uh, the Nandex. So. Uh, for starters, your Nandex has to be on the V3 code. If it's not, it won't work. Um, and what you want to do is go ahead and plug in the USB to the Nandex. Plug it into your PC, free USB slot. Go ahead and unplug this. Alright, so it should be lighting up. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this up, grab some scissors <clears throat> let me zoom out a little bit for you guys All right, I guess it's as far out as it goes, okay so I'm go ahead and open this up well, of course I didn't cut it far enough Okay, so here we go, and this is the end that's going to go into the Cool Runner. It's going to go on the bottom part of it, and you want to make sure that you have it in the right direction. Is that the right way? Oh, okay. So yeah, the black wire needs to go onto the right side, so it should be like that. And then let me go ahead and grab my cool runner. <clears throat> I didn't actually have a spare cool runner. My cool runner chip is already on the board, but I have not actually programmed it yet, so it's a perfect example. So let me go ahead and put this in. So let's see. Let's see if you can see it. All right. So now I got the Nandex hooked up, and you'll know that the Cool Runner is connected because you'll see that red power light going on. That means that it is receiving power, which is awesome. That the Nandex actually powers the the chip while you're programming it as well. So then I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the PC and show you guys how to do uh, the work over in Nand Pro. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so now, uh, after looking around a little bit, I kind of decided that the method I'm going to show you guys to flash your actual glitch chip is going to be by using JTAG tool because it's just really simple and pretty. It's effective, so I figured I might as well just show you. Um, I'm using version 4.25 as of right now. That's the latest. Um, so you're going to go ahead and click Advanced mode, And then under main, you're going to choose whatever console uses. So mine was a Zephyr. So I'll click that. And then I'm going to head over to the reset glitch tab and just click flash glitch board. So it's executing file. Success, uh, successfully executed file, pressing the key to continue. Glitch board ready. So as simple as that. So let's say if you had Eternity, flash glitch board. Simple as that. So uh, I think that's real awesome. Um, if you want to use Nam Pro, you could always use Nam Pro too. But um, my videos, I always try to make them as noob friendly as possible. And in my opinion, it doesn't get much simpler than that. Just to click up a couple buttons. So um, yeah, that's about it, guys. So this is Dopesar930, and hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you like my videos, please um, thumbs up and subscribe. All right, I'm out.